if you're gonna if you're gonna train with uh, extreme intensity, you got to have extreme recovery to, to balance out the equation. All right, so we talked a little bit about inflammation uh, being the root cause of tendonitis. Um, we also talked about patellar tendinosis and patellar bursitis. So just to quickly clarify, so that we're treating the right symptoms, um, patellar tendonitis is an inflammation of the joint, excuse me, inflammation of the tendon, whereas patellar bursitis is going to be uh, inflammation of the bursa sac underneath the kneecap itself. So a lot of people will confuse water on the knee with patellar bursitis, um, but there will be evidence of fluid around and on the kneecap, um, and certainly range of motion will be restricted. Patellar tendinosis is a more serious condition where we actually get um, some detachment of uh, the fibers in the tendon, and so we get some fraying. Um, certainly that is a, a more serious situation where you know you might need to have uh, surgical issues um, help to treat that. Step one in treating our patellar tendonitis. We talked about stamping out inflammation and for a large part of the population the easiest way to stamp out inflammation is with a little cryotherapy, so some ice. So this little tool is one of the best things that we can do to create a little ice massage for ourselves. So simply take a styrofoam cup, fill it with water. We're just gonna put it in the freezer here and let it freeze. I've already taken one and created a little ice, ice popsicle here. So all we're gonna do is split the top of the styrofoam and just peel it down. To reveal some of the ice. Our patient here, David Castro, is going to be the beneficiary of uh, a little bit of an ice massage here. So we just kind of use the ice on the affected area. So if we're looking at the patellar tendon, we want to ice on and around the tendon itself. And so circular motions are good across the tendon is good. You might want to get up and around the kneecap here. Uh, if there's also some uh, inflammation above the kneecap um, at the insertion, we can, we can massage here as well. But this is a great little tool for um, giving yourself a nice massage and helping to work out some of the inflammation. Um, the second thing that we all do here with our athletes uh, is take full advantage of the cold tub. So cold plunge uh, set somewhere around 52 degrees is where I find it to be most effective. Um, we like our athletes to plunge for anywhere from uh, 10 to 15 minutes at a time. Um, David will jump in the tub here. Pretty simple. He'll, he'll, he'll attest to the fact that it's cold once you get in, but once you sit down and relax for a minute or two, it becomes almost like a, like a spa. If you, have, if you have the benefit of a jet, circulate the water. That's always helpful. How are you feeling, Dave? So, 10, 15 minutes in here. You know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna train with uh, extreme intensity, you gotta have extreme recovery to, to balance out the equation. See you in 15.